and they're off. A mile and a half ahead of them and not a great start for Let Life Happen as uh, it was Marmara C who just came across in front of her leaving the stalls. First time starter Starlight Magic was a little bit slow to get going and being pushed along in the early stages. Coco Royale is the one who's going very, very wide, but it is Mamara C who has got the lead to Coco Royale out wide. Now comes through to lead them all off. Then racing in third, the grey, Mistress of Illusion, as they go around the turn. In fourth position, towards the outside, is Eastern Empress, pushing up on the inside, fifth harmonic. Break then of about a length and a half, back to Lock Glass, who races on the inside of Lady Bracken as they head towards the final mile. Bougainvillea is next in her field, a length and a half in advance of Caravan Saray. After Caravan Saray is Polar Princess, and then Let Life Happen, who really did, got pushed back at the break. The back marker is Starlight Magic as they head now down the back straight. And Coco Royale, having taken that wide course down the home straight, has now gone clear and crossed the inside rail with a lead of two and a half lengths. Mamara C is racing in second place. In third, Mistress of Illusion. In fourth is Fifth Harmonic. Then Eastern Empress racing in fifth. Two lengths away, Lock Glass in sixth. And that one's outside. Lady Bracken is in seventh. In eighth, is Bougainvillea, just been niggled along for a few strides. On that one's outside is Caravan Saray. After Caravan Saray is Polar Princess. Last but one is Let Life Happen, still with a lot of running to do from there. And the back marker, Starlight Magic, and they're on the turn with a half mile to go. And it's Coco Royale and Tom Marcond. Now the pressure comes from Mistress of Illusion and Rob Hornby into second. Ridden along to the inside rail, Marmara C in third. Eastern Empress is in fourth. They've got a break of nearly three lengths over Fifth Harmonic, who made the turn in fifth position. And then there's a further three lengths back to Lady Bracken. And now they race on down towards the final quarter of a mile. And towards the wide outside, it is Eastern Empress, who has traveled best to this point. Going with her, toe for toe, is Mistress of Illusion. Trying to rally now to the inside, Mamara C. And from a long, long way back, Let Life Happen begins to roll. But out in front, Mistress of Illusion has got the break over the field. And racing up towards the line, it is Rob Hornby and Mistress of Illusion in front. It all went pear-shaped at the break for Let Life Happen, second yet again in third, Eastern Empress. Mistress of Illusion continues to find form for Rafe Beckett. Uh, Rob Hornby on board. Uh, talk me through it. She she obviously stays strongly and has a bit of boot as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, she's just piecing it all together with the experience she's had so far. She's acted quite well on the all weather. And uh, obviously there's a, a bit of a fresh surface gone down today, which takes a bit of bedding down. And um, she's a horse that handled it well, stays good. And like you say, she's over overcome the wide draw to, to be handy. Pace was good. and. Yeah, she's, she's, she's outstayed him in the end. And how have you found the new surface tonight? Uh, interesting, really. Uh, I thought Pace was holding up quite strong, but in those novices, you know, they tend to be a bit of a stop-start gallop because they're inexperienced and whatever horses I've led or are leading or in the, the forefront are, are horses that aren't used to being there. So um, just about working out at the moment. But uh, it felt true and fair, and the inside was as good as the middle. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'll get a, a lot of hammer over the next few years. Sure will. Good stuff. Well done. Cheers.